to welcome to you for my nervous to Best Bubble UK. Thank you for accepting this. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Chief Rabbi, we have just commemorated 75 years uh, since the liberation of Auschwitz and have been privileged to hear firsthand from those who suffered in the atrocities. Can I ask you why do you feel we are seeing a rise in anti-Semitism and extremism? It's a very sad phenomenon, particularly when it's not so long ago that there was a Holocaust and also sadly um, in about 10, 15, 20 years time there won't be any survivors of the Holocaust left so we have a huge responsibility ourselves to carry on broadcasting their message and a rise of anti-Semitism today is an accumulation of a whole lot of factors there's no one single reason uh, we continue to suffer from anti-Semitism from the far right um, there is now a lot of anti-Semitism from the far left we see radical Islam having a role in increasing anti-Semitism. We see anti-Zionism often as being a form of anti-Semitism. And all of this is within a context of rising hate speech. And we know that hate speech is only one step away from hate crime. Um, and from some international leaders irresponsibly uh, sending out messages which uh, encourage more hate speech and hate crime. So all of this is a horrific cocktail which is contributing to a rise in extremism and in anti-Semitism. In an unprecedented uh, step for a chief rabbi in the UK, you recently spoke out against the Labour Party and their approach or lack of it in tackling anti-Semitism. What's the difficult decision to make and what is uh, since your role is considered a political one, do you think there is any downside in potentially politicizing a religious role? Religious role? It was a very easy decision to take. I knew I was always going to do this for as long as there would be deep problems of anti-Semitism within the Labour Party. And that's because this was a critical moment for the future of Jews and Judaism in this country. and. Uh, a leader needs to show leadership, particularly at a time such as this. In my statement, I pointed out that I didn't see this as being a purely political issue. Of course, I as Chief Rabbi, I am apolitical. Nobody knows and nobody will know who I cast my vote for. Um, I am neutral in my role. Uh, and on this particular issue, uh, it was a matter that had a direct impact on the future of Judaism uh, and the plight of Jews in this country. So it went well beyond politics. So certainly I strayed into that political realm, um, but that's it. That's not the natural habitat for a chief rabbi to be in. The media response was phenomenal, uh, with many leaders of other religions coming out in support of you. Uh, and considerable media coverage. Had you expected this? And why do you think it received such an incredible response? I did expect that my words would resonate well with many people. Uh, and I'm very pleased to have witnessed the enormous response that it got. And I think that that is a reflection of the greatness of British society. I've always believed and I continue to believe that basically people in Britain are decent, they are good, they don't want to live in a society which is dominated by or controlled by extremism and they came out and they voted very forcefully um, against that type of a context within which uh, our political world could work. So um, I'm very pleased with the extent to which my words did resonate uh, and I am delighted to be a citizen of this wonderful country. Moving forwards, as a teenager, I see a growing rise in anger, extremism, hate speech, uh, etc. What has led us, led us to this point, and more importantly, how can we reduce it? Well, the very fact that you as a teenager are sitting in front of me now, raising these really excellent questions, probing what is happening within our society, I see that as being a very positive and encouraging phenomenon. So carry on doing what you're doing now, 
get as many other teenagers to do this because thankfully we're living in a society which respects the voice of the young um, and therefore you as young people need to let us know what it is that disturbs you, uh, what you're concerned about, where we as a more mature and established entity of society might be going wrong. Challenge us, be vocal, be fair of course in what you are saying and what you are doing and be fearless because you can only improve the situation. So I welcome what you're doing and the more we have of this the better. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Thank you very much for listening.